Hi everybody, I'm Stefan. Welcome to the very first lesson of my level three beginner piano course. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so and if you like what you see, give this video a thumbs up. In this very first lesson, we're going to learn some new rhythms to expand our rhythmic vocabulary range. In level one, we learned about the whole note, semi-brief, the half note, minim, and the quarter note, crotchet. In level two, we added eighth notes or quavers, and now in level three, we're going to add even shorter note values to be able to play more complex rhythms. And we're going to learn today about the 16th notes or semi-quavers. So 16th notes, as you can see, are notated by a double beam if they are connected or by a double tail or flag if they are single. So they look almost completely identical to eighth notes, but eighth notes had a single beam and a single tail and sixteenth notes have a double beam and a double tail. Now, as the name says, a sixteenth note is going to be twice as short as an eighth note. So we can play two sixteenth notes in an eighth note. A sixteenth note is going to be a quarter of a beat long. So four quarters make up one beat. So that means we can play four sixteenth notes in the time of one beat or one quarter note. Now let's do a little exercise now with 16th notes. I'm going to turn on this jolly metronome to give us a very steady pulse and I'm going to clap you first quarter notes, then eighth notes, and then four 16th notes in the same beat so you can hear how much quicker 16th notes are than quarter notes and eighth notes. So, this is one click and I'm going to clap for each click one quarter note. One, 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 so these are quarter notes. Now let's turn this into eighth notes, so two claps for each click. One and two and one and two and. Now let's turn this into sixteenth notes, so four claps for every single click of the metronome. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So now you could hear that the 16th notes go really, really fast compared to quarter notes and eighth notes. And we really have to internalize this relationship to each other. And that's why it's really good to have a metronome or beat the pulse with your foot. Because what can happen when we start playing 16th notes is that we slow them down and we speed up the quarter notes. So the relationship kind of gets distorted and our 16th notes are not going to be four times as short as the quarter notes. Now, to put this into a little bit more practical term, we have three exercises here, three different kinds of rhythms. The first one is going to be 16th notes and quarter notes, so only two kinds. We're going to clap it first, and then we're going to play the melody. It's a very simple five note melody, and what we need to understand is that counting is a little bit harder when it comes to 16th notes because they are so short that we can't use one or one and anymore. We need to subdivide divide the beat into four equal parts. Traditionally, we say one, a, uh, and, a, uh. one, a, uh, and, a. Uh. So we have to introduce a little a uh sound after the one and the and to make it into four syllables. So that's one beat. One, a, uh, and, a, uh, two, a, uh, and, a, uh, three, a, uh, and, a, uh, four, a, uh, and, a. Uh. So basically we make each beat into four syllables. Now this might be a little bit difficult to say very quickly and it might be confusing as well. So we can use other syllables like the one from solfa, which is tiri tiri. Remember, quarter notes were ta, eighth notes were ti ti, and now sixteenth notes are going to be tiri tiri. So ta ta ti 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 tiri 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 ta ta. Tiri, 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 tiri. And this is the traditional way of saying the rhythm. Now, I found that it's sometimes much easier to actually come up with words which have four syllables, like pepperoni, which is pepperoni, pepperoni, or guacamole, or even say semi quaver. Any word with four equal syllables is really gonna help with the counting of these rhythms. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put back the metronome and I'm going to clap the first line. First, I'm going to use tiri tiri, and then I'm going to say pepperoni cheese. So I'm gonna say pepperoni for the 16th notes and cheese for the quarter notes. So let's go. One, two, Three, four. Tiri tiri ta. Tiri 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 ta ta. 
tiri tiri ta. So that's how the rhythm sounded. Now I'm gonna do the same thing saying pepperoni cheese. Three, four. Pepperoni cheese, pepperoni, pepperoni cheese, cheese, pepperoni cheese. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to play the rhythm on the piano now and I'm not going to say the rhythm, but you're going to hear how it actually sounds. It's a very simple melody, a five note scale going up and down. So let's get the metronome back on. One, two, three, four. So that was the first rhythm. The second rhythm, as you can see, is a little bit more mixed up. We've got eighth notes and we've got double sixteenth notes. Now, an interesting thing you can see here is that we can actually join the eighth and sixteenth notes together. And the way we know which one is which is that the beam at the start of the group is going to be a single one, which shows us that the first note is an eighth note and the last two notes are sixteenth notes. So two sixteenth notes are two quarters and the eighth note is a half. So they make up one beam and that's why we can beam them together so we can make them into one group so we can easily see that that's one beat. So let's get the metronome back on. One, two, three, four. Ti, ti, ri, ti, 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 ri, ti, 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 ri, ti, 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 ri, ti, ti, ti. Now let's add some syllables. So we're going to use hot for the eighth notes and we're going to use coffee for the sixteenth notes. One, two, three, four. Hot coffee tea tea, hot coffee tea tea, apple pie tea tea, apple pie tea tea. Now once again I'm going to turn to the piano and play the rhythm and you can hear how the sixteenth notes and eighth notes are going to sound together. One, two, three, four. The third example or third rhythm pattern is going to combine the first two together. So we're going to have groups of four sixteenth notes, then we're going to have eighth notes and sixteenth notes in the same beat. So let's go again with the jolly metronome. One, two, three, four. Tiri tiri ta. Ti ti tiri ti. Tiri tiri ti ti. Tiri 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 ti. Now let's say it with the words. One. Two, three, four. Pepperoni cheese, tea, tea, coffee, tea. Pepperoni, tea, tea, pepperoni, coffee, tea. And now let's turn to the piano and let's play the rhythms again. One, two, three, four. These were the three examples that really helped us to solidify that relationship between eighth notes, quarter notes and sixteenth notes. It's really important to clap the rhythms before you play them when you are first introduced to these new rhythms as the notes are so short and it's very tempting to slow them down and make the, the longer notes faster. The beat always has to stay the same so using a metronome either on your phone on your digital piano or an old school one like this one is going to really help to feel that pulse and keep yourself to that pulse. And remember, a quarter note is equal to one click, two eighth notes are equal to one click and four sixteenth notes have to fit into one click. Now the click, the speed of the click, is really up to you. You can start very slowly or you can go faster if you can manage with the claps. But it's a really good exercise to do before we start working on our pieces. 